Welcome back, CB24 Breakfast Weekend. I love playing dress up when it's uh, all things rock and roll. I want to introduce my man Paul over here. Tori, uh, we are talking about an amazing, an amazing event that's coming up. And you know what? Uh, cystic fibrosis is one of those things that doesn't really get a lot of attention. Uh, we hear, we see a lot of the runs and the walks for cancer. But let, let, let's talk about this and why you, uh, you wanted to create this event in, in the first place. Okay, well, my daughter Tori uh, was born with cystic fibrosis. Uh, she's doing well, but it's, uh, it's a terrible disease that affects uh, primarily the lungs and the digestive system. So I've always wanted to do something for her and for CF, and uh, I finally got a chance because I play in this KISS tribute band. I'm usually what you are right now. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I thought this would be a great, I've been planning it since February. Uh, so we're at the Opera House, September 26th. Uh, it's called Kiss CF Goodbye because mm -hmm. of the Kiss cover band. And I got five incredible bands. I got a Stevie Ray Vaughan tribute band. Yeah. I got Ozone Baby, which is a Led Zeppelin tribute band featuring, featuring Emmy Award winning Phil Nero on vocals. I got Nick Walsh, who was in Slick Toxic, currently singing for Moxie. I got Pablo, who actually is a Mediterranean guitar player, great one of guitar our player. greatest homegrown talents, mm -hmm. who's based in Florida, flying out for me. He's an old friend of mine. He's an international and, uh, guy. Yeah, and he's going to do a plugged-in version of his song, so it'll this be very interesting for him. It's first-time thing. And, and, and where does all the money uh, get sent to? Well, everything's going to go to CF Canada, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, finally raise awareness and funds for uh, an incredible event. What do you say about your pops? I'm so proud of what he's doing. I love him so much and I can't believe he's doing this for me and for CF. Now, I'm curious to know, well, when you were growing up, um, did, did he ever just, you know, did you ever catch him uh, like in the full kiss <laughs> get up and be like, um, Dad, what are you doing? Dad, oh. Dad what are you doing? That was actually three years he, ago. Yeah, three years ago, he actually got the clothes. It's a little weird the first time seeing him like walk around in heels and have a wig on and like helped him pick out a wig and stuff. It's pretty funny. You, you know what? Uh, listen, doesn't matter. You can't take the boy out of the man. <laughs> we love playing rock and roll. We love to do, uh, you know, we love to do the dress up thing. And uh, I'm guessing you must feel pretty proud knowing that he's doing something so special that's For going sure. to not only benefit you, but it's going to be benefit a lot of people out there. Out um, out there who are uh, dealing with CF. Definitely. And uh, so for people who are watching right now, if they, they want to maybe attend the show, um, where can they go? Where can they find tickets? Uh, they can go to www.kisscfgoodbye.com and everything's there, all the information about the show. There's a link to Ticketfly, who uh, was nice enough to sponsor the event, um, and everything's there. I have to ask you, how long did it take you to perfect the walk in this? Because I wish people saw at home, um, I went down. Bad. Like, we're talking like if a, a figure skater went up for the triple axle and they didn't land and the fall, that's what I did in the newsroom. A couple of the people thought I broke my ankle. I thankfully I didn't. How long did it take you to learn the walk? Honestly, the, I'll tell a quick little story. I joined this band about three years ago and I put them on and I was just like you, looked like nothing. First show, I jumped in the air and I did exactly what you did, and um, I thought I broke my ankle too, but I got right back up and rock and roll. I'm, ta I'm taking a look at the demon over here. Uh, Gene, you're looking pretty fly. H how are those fit? Uh, comfy in these things? No. No? No, <laughs> no? not at all. You know what? It, no. hurts. it hurts to rock at times. It hurts. Rock and roll is a dangerous sport. It takes my toes a week to heal. It's not, it's not meant for everyone. And Peter, yes. you're, looking, you're looking pretty fly. Thank you, sir. You're always, uh, you know, sans uh, our sleeves and stuff. You like to keep a little less clothing when you're rocking out. <laughs> Gotta be flexible to hit the skins. Exactly. Thank you so much, guys. And by the way, we have 10 tickets to give away. 10 pairs. Uh, 10 pairs uh, to give away for this amazing event that's happening at the Opera House. I want you to do is answer and email this answer to contest at cp24.com. I just referred to this man as his character. He's playing Gene Simmons, but what is the character that he plays in KISS? Email that answer to contest at cp24.com. Guys, thank you so much for bringing The Rock into the newsroom. We're going to send you to commercial break with a little bit of Detroit Rock City.